Hi, welcome back to another video from the Bluetooth speaker series. Today we are going to make this view meter. It picks up every sound and lights up the LEDs of this volume unit meter. That's the explanation of view meter if in case anybody was wondering. So without wasting any time, let's dive into it. A condenser mic, a film capacitor, 10k ohm and 470k ohm resistors, DC547 transistor, the Atmega328 chip, 16 MHz crystal and 22 picofarad capacitors. These are required to run the Atmega328 chip. This is the commercial available mic module for the Arduino. It has positive 5V pin, a ground pin and a signal output pin. It costs about Rs 160 and is very complicated. So I found this another circuit which does the same thing but with less components and also for a fraction of the cost. After tracing back the circuit, I came up with a circuit diagram. Here it is. The condenser mic picks up the sound which is amplified by the BC547 transistor. The resistors act as a way to charge and discharge the capacitor. This requires 5 volts and gives out an output which we can process using the Arduino. I wire the circuit on the breadboard to test if all is working. I connected the output pin to A2 of my Arduino and run my code. I just made an analog read of A2 pin and displayed in the serial monitor. Whenever I clap, I am able to see the bump in the valley. That is good news. Now it's time to prototype the board. To do that, I opened my Eagle CAD and drew the schematics and prepared the board. You can download the schematics and the board design from the description. Next, we need to convert the input signal we get in the Arduino to light up the LEDs. The Atmega chip has around 13 digital pins. If we leave out the TX and RX pins, then it's about 11 digital pins. That is more than enough as I just want to connect 10 LEDs. I quickly wired up each digital pin to the positive lead of the LED. 220 ohm resistor is connected to the ground for protecting the LEDs. And now I add more lines to my code. First I define the LEDs here. Then declare two variables which I will later use in the code. I will set these LEDs as outputs. Now I have to convert the number I get during analog read to a value that I can use. With a little bit of calculation, the lowest value I get is 0 and the highest is 10, which is the same number of LEDs I have connected. So with a simple loop, I can light up all the LEDs with a slight delay. Once I upload the code to my Arduino, I began testing. With every clap, I can see the LEDs light up. Awesome! Time to build a board. Again, I used Eagle Cat to design the schematics and build the board. I used the Atmega328 chip as the brain in between. Because the input will be 12 volts, I used a 5 volt voltage regulator. Finally, I etched the board. If you want to know how you can etch PCBs, then please click on the link below. Here is the board with the components soldered. I designed these boards to be modules so I can attach and remove them whenever required. Also the board can be placed far away from the mic. Now let me put everything together. I have connected the 12 volt power and then connected the mic module also. Now when I play the music, it just works fine. I secured it with some hot glue later. And here I am testing it one more time. Now you may ask, why not connect one of the output of the speaker as an input into the Arduino and read the values? Why use a mic module instead? Well that was my initial thought. But what I soon learned was that the output of the speaker is an AC voltage, converting them into DC voltage and then again amplifying it is just too much of work. Most of the website which builds view meters for audio systems take the input that they get out of the audio jack and then feed that into a microcontroller to read the values. The value that we usually get from an audio jack is a DC voltage, so that would work. But here it's a Bluetooth speaker. We can't do anything like that. Hence came to the solution and I built this and it works. Unless it's a big noise, the mic does not pick it up because it's inside the enclosure. That's all for this video my friend. If you repeat this project, then please tag me as hashmediamillan. I would love to check out what you've done. And follow me on Instagram at MrJCRP to see what I'm working on right now. Let me know your questions in the comment. Until next time, happy learning.